On Monday, many of us will put on those nifty glasses and look to the skies for the solar eclipse. And you know, since the dawn of time, there's been plenty of myths and legends about eclipses. The media's ENC Charlotte's Megan Bragg is looking to some of them, the most popular ones in today's Verify. Of course, there are several myths to this, but uh, these are the three that we're going to focus on to see if they are true or false. So our sources with this is Nicholas Common. He's an emergency physician at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center and of course NASA. The first myth, total solar eclipses produce harmful rays that can cause blindness. NASA says light from the eclipse at totality is a million times more faint than the light from the sun itself. According to NASA, there's Nothing in the coronal light that could cross 93 million miles of space, penetrate our dense atmosphere, and cause blindness. However, if you try to gaze at the sun before totality, you will be looking at the solar surface, and that could cause retinal damage. The important thing is that you actually use the glasses. So eye damage can happen to the front of the eye, which is the cornea, and that can be very painful and cause somebody to come to the emergency department or it could cause damage to the retina, which is the back of the eye. So while the eclipse itself can't cause blindness, if you are not in the path of totality and not wearing glasses, it can cause serious damage to your eyes. The next myth, if you are pregnant, you should not watch an eclipse because it could harm your baby. NASA says this is false. This myth stems from the idea that harmful radiation is emitted during a solar eclipse. While NASA does say particles called neutrinos do travel from the sun to Earth and through your body, it's not enough to harm you. And the final myth, there are no total solar eclipses at Earth's north and south poles. According to NASA, this is also false. The last total solar eclipse viewed from the North Pole was on March 20th, 2015, and was in direct line with the North Pole itself. The last total eclipse viewed from the South Pole area was on November 23rd, 2003. If you have any eclipse questions, feel free to send them our way. We'd love to hear from you. You can send those questions to Verify at WCNC.com. With Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.